I'm here to show you how to properly set up your Novatool Aero 325 splice press to splice narrow belts often used in belt-driven live rollers and transfer toad applications. There are many belt types, flat, V-guided, notch V-guided, each with different thicknesses and widths. Before splicing your belt, you'll need to choose the correct belt template for the narrow belt that you would like to splice. To set up your splice, begin by removing the top beam, silicone cloth, and then the clamp bars. And then position your narrow belt template on the bottom beam of the press. For this splice, we'll be splicing end to end. So what I'll do next is I will open up my clamp bars. I can now insert my belt ends into the template. And I wanna make sure that I've got my fingers aligned in the center of the press. and that my fingers are tightly meshed together without any visible gaps. Once meshed together, I'll take my clamps and clamp them on top of the belt, securing it in place, confirming that when I lay my pressure plate over the splice, that it completely covers the splice equally on both edges. Once confirmed, I can then take my clamp bars and secure my template in place. Lay my silicone cloth over my splice. Install my pressure plate. The pressure plate is gonna ensure that you get a nice even flow throughout the splice process. And then simply reinstall my top beam. Securing my connector bolts, finger tight. Now it's time to power up the press. So we'll first attach and latch the umbilical from the top beam to the bottom. We'll do the same with the power cord, attaching it to the bottom beam, latching in place, and then plugging into our main power supply. You can now power up the press. I can confirm now that the power cord detected is correct. So I'll simply scroll down to correct, depress my selector knob, and then begin entering my recipe. I'm gonna begin now with the pressure. Right now it's set at 1.5 bars. I'm going to change that to two bars, depress the selector knob, scroll up, select my two bars and move on. We're not gonna do any preheat for this particular splice. So we'll go to the top temperature, the top beam temperature, Use my selector knob to get to the temperature I want. We're going to 185 degrees, same on the bottom. We'll move on to the dwell time. The dwell time is going to be how long the splice is gonna cook. We're gonna go to four minutes. And then our cool down temperature is when the press actually shuts off. So we're gonna change that temperature to 70 degrees C. Once completed, I can simply hit the green start button and the splice will begin its process.
Now we can release the pressure, but before we do, note the splice cycle time. Before we inspect the splice, we're gonna power down the press and disconnect our cables. First, we'll power down, disconnect from our main power source, and then disconnect our cables from the press. Now it's time to inspect our splice. That's a great quality splice. Because we're happy with the splice results, we can store this recipe for future use. So I can just scroll down to store recipe, and then I can depress my selector knob and begin scrolling. We're gonna call this 45 millimeter. So each time I actually get to my um, actual number or letter that I want to put in, I can just depress the knob and scroll on to the next. Once I've got my nomenclature the way I want it, I can just hit done, confirm, and now I've stored that recipe into the press. Follow these steps for a quality splice when using the Novotool Aero 325 splice press.